I started to be connected with the minimalism uh, quite early to the experience of the music for the sort of uh, ritual and uh, also trance-like experience that I enjoyed very much. When I heard uh, the music of Philip Glass and uh, Steve Reich uh, and, and those people from, from America, I started to rethink myself. Uh. She music was, it was the first way I experienced music. It was the first way I had contact with it. And it's something that I always come back to. And for me, it's always, it's, it's, it's a way that music can become timeless. Sheet music allows people to experience music on a personal level. It allows them to experience it, to, to make it their own and to feel a part of it. And I know when I was growing up and learning to read these pieces, when you play them, they become, they get inside of you and they become a part of your musical DNA and it gets deeper than just listening. These artists that they, they tend to be composers and they're able to sort of, you know, marry a sense of composition with what they're doing as an improviser and sort of make a total statement, which, which that speaks to me a lot. The whole project of publishing it was to put the music in the hands of people who wanted to play it. In a funny way, I, when I'm sharing the, the performing music with other people, I'm sharing part of the enjoyment of playing. Uh, that's, that's one of the reasons that we write music. The new American generation of um, composers and artists um, are defined by a diversity of um, both education and style. There is a kind of freedom to, to move within the American music landscape now that maybe didn't exist 50 years ago, that I think is less defined by kind of academic circles of composition and more about personal expression.